Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Ascent Creed Valhalla video. So, title update 1.4.0 with the Tombs of the Fallen will be with us tomorrow, so 9th of November. And Ubisoft has released the patch notes as we can see here. And this is interesting because for the Xbox it will be 20 to 25 gigabytes and for the PC it will be around 20 gigabytes but for the PS4 and 5 it will be between 5 and 7 gigabytes so that is very interesting and the new content added of course we all know it's gonna be the tombs of the fallen one added four new tombs of the fallen to the game so four tombs six runes so I reckon that we will see two tombs for two remaining Odin runes a little bit later and thanks to Andy Reloads and Peter who let me share Peter's findings in this video so thanks both of you and Andy's channel link will be in the description box down below so be sure to check him out and the six locations Manius Sanctum a cave in Grandopitshire Venutius tomb in Yervikshire Cassivellanus tomb in Skiropeshire, I hope I did pronounce that right, Podica in Anglia, Pridon Brothers tomb, Cartacus and Togo Dumnus, and sixth unknown Pridon warrior. So those are the tombs slash locations, but for now only four will be added and as Ubisoft did feed it and posted in Facebook, we all know this has something to do with Odin runes. Me and Darkshire and his channel link will be in the description box down below as well. So be sure to check him out as well. We really think that we need to charge Odin's eye in order to reveal the secrets of the Odin runes. So. We have the eye and illusionary runes. So do we see a connection there? Because I do. But that and much more will be revealed tomorrow and I will be live streaming as much as I can. Also we are getting actually new skills as well. So the first one perfect parry in the nick of time to deal additional damage to the attacker so yeah that is pretty fun additional damage always welcome also master counter roll adds a hidden blade strike while executing a counter roll is our second skill and the third skill will be improved bow stun finisher in the aiding the bow stun finisher will not shoot arrows at all stunned enemies in view so how they actually will affect, how will they actually be working, we will see that tomorrow and later on. And that's not all. Peter actually did found many many more of skills and ability names from the game files and here they are. Also these lines from the patch notes of upcoming title update, these are really interesting. So. Four puzzle focused tombs are waiting to be uncovered across the England. Did someone say Odin Rune? And the second part of this one unlock two new trophies slash achievements upon completing one or three tombs of the fallen. And the last thing from this access requirements this content is available upon unlocking the settlement through the main storyline. So straight after you are getting to the England basically but yeah four puzzles six runes so definitely we will see much more of these tombs in the future so remember to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications because I will be covering as much as I can about Valhalla upcoming content all the glitches farms etc if you don't want to miss anything hit the sub, turn on the notifications. Also what has been added as well in to the title update 1.4.0 will be 
support for the Oscar Aya festival that we are getting in few days as well. The festival will last from 11th of November to the 2nd of December. And again we are getting so much new quests and activities including horseback riding and a tournament against spirits. New spooky rewards so I reckon there will be sights as a reward, probably tattoos, decorations, mount or raven skin like always. And for that you need to reach England and get your settlement to level 2 to participate in the Oscar Raya festival. And as always Ubisoft is promising us to fix some bugs, those game breaking ones, also addressing numerous menu narration issues. And what I am really excited about is that constant new quest alert since title update 1.3.1. So I am so excited of getting that taken away that is just annoying. And of course let me also know if you have any issues with the game, with the quests and if Ubisoft is actually fixing these or just promising. But until tomorrow, let's see if these are like Mastery Challenges 2.0 with the Odin Rune Twist or vice versa. Also special thanks to Peter, Andy Reloads and Dark Strider. So if you did enjoy, if you want to see more, hit the like, hit the sub. Also have fun, stay safe, be strong. Hope to see you next time. Skatha, over and out and bye bye.